Let's begin with Doodly 101, your Doodly beginner walkthrough. This video tutorial was created with version 2.5.6, but the walkthrough will help you learn any Doodly version. Hi, I'm Wayne, the creator of this free video content. Nice to meet you. In just a bit, I'm going to show you content that's designed to show you 1 minute and 30 seconds of different video design techniques, try to make you laugh, all the while telling you how you can support this channel free of charge. If you're someone that feels the thousands of hours I've spent creating free content for you is not worth the 1 minute and 30 seconds of your time, simply use the chapters feature I've taken the time to create in this video and skip over it. Just move your mouse over the video timeline and click on the next chapter. For those of you that do appreciate the time I've taken, here it is, and thanks for watching. This free video tutorial took billions of light years to create. YouTube judges a channel by subscribers, likes, shares, and video hours watched. We only ask for all our hard work. Please use those buttons and let this video run until the end. Easily support this channel free of charge. Here are some methods. Click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. This video is monetized. Let the video run all the way to the end. The ad revenue, as little as it is, helps support this channel. Join our Facebook group. You'll find a link in the description. You'll receive group status with me and other experienced doodlers and video designers ready to help. Share these videos with other people you know and even people you don't, whether it's in the official Doodly Facebook group or somewhere else. The more people that watch and comment, the more videos I'll create. Join Production Crate through the link in our description. They have a free account and some of the best video designing effects I've found on the internet, along with tutorials, so you know how to use them and can create effects like what you'll see throughout this video series. YouTubers! Reference back to our video in your video or video description. We would be appreciative of a link back to our channel or a plug in your video showing us our hard work paid off. Let us know about it so we can return the kindness. Contact us if you want to get a little more creative and learn how to pass traffic amongst channels. In Chapter 4, we are going to learn about scenes, characters, props, fonts, sounds, the marketplace, and categories. Let's move forward. On the left side is the Objects or Assets section, also known as the Library. You can drag things like characters out onto the canvas, but we also have scenes. If you attempt to drag a scene onto the canvas with an asset already on the canvas, an error or warning appears. Current scene is not empty. Adding this scene template will remove all existing content from the current scene. Are you sure you want to continue? You can click either Cancel or OK or the X to close out. Clicking OK will erase all assets on the canvas. Let's click OK. The same rule does not apply if you want to drag an asset onto the same canvas with a scene currently in place. We can drag the asset onto the canvas and resize it to our will or work with it without interfering with the scene. We can add our own images to Doodly to make them assets for our project. If we are going to add more characters, we would click on the character section and there's a plus sign in the lower right corner. Click the plus sign and you'll get a window that pops up asking if we want to drag or drop our image onto the window or if we want to browse our computer. If you click browse, you'll be able to navigate your computer and import the image you would like to add into the character section. Name the character and click the continue button and this will add the character into the character section and onto the canvas. With the asset now on the canvas, we can work with it. Pushing the delete key on your keyboard will remove the asset from the canvas. You will receive a warning message saying that you are about to remove the selected assets from this scene. 
You can add them back later by browsing the asset library. Are you sure you want to continue? There is either a cancel or OK button, or you can click the X in the upper right hand corner to cancel this window. Clicking cancel or the X will bring you back to the canvas and the asset will not be removed. Clicking OK will remove the asset from the canvas. We can right click on the asset in the character section to receive some options. It is important to note that the options are different if you right click on a doodly provided character and a character that you have imported. Let's use a character that we just imported to take a look at the options. We can see here that we have rename, delete, share, and export. Renaming is self-explanatory. It allows us to rename the image to a better name. Delete removes the imported asset from the Doodly library. Share allows you to share the asset with someone else that also has Doodly. You will need to know their email address that they signed up with in Doodly to share it with them. Export allows you to export the image as a .das file or Doodly assets file. When you are renaming an asset file, it renames it in place. You cannot see the entire name if it's too long. But the same rules apply as if you were working in Microsoft Word or Notepad if you want to highlight and erase the text or shift an arrow key or shift control arrow key to highlight if you're on a Windows computer. Command would be if you're on a Mac. When deleting an asset file from the Doodly library, you will get a different message than when they removing it from the canvas. Doodly will come up and ask you if you're sure you want to delete this asset. This action is not reversible. The asset will no longer be available outside the scenes that already use it. Then you are provided again with a cancel or OK button with a gray X in the upper right hand corner to close or cancel this window. Sharing allows you to share the asset to a friend's email. You need to have a title name and email address and then click the continue button. If you try to share it to yourself, you'll receive a message that says, you cannot share the asset to yourself, you can only share to other Doodly users. If you try to share to an email address that is not in the Doodly community, you will receive a message that says, this email does not exist, you can only share to other Doodly users. Exporting to a DAS file is very useful when you want to send assets to a person and don't know their email address. DAS files can only be used with Doodly, but you can export multiple assets that you've imported into Doodly by holding the control or command key down and selecting individual assets, or by clicking on the first one and then holding the shift key down and clicking on the last one, which will highlight everything in between those two clicks. It is important to note that you cannot export Doodly provided assets even if trying to include them in the same Doodle export as an imported one. Let's find an asset that comes with Doodly. Here is Adam. If we attempt to right click on Adam, please take note that no context or right click menu appears. Now let's look at the props section. This is where we will add all the non-character assets we want to use within our Doodles. We add a prop asset the same way as we add a character by clicking the plus sign, browse to its location, double click on the image and give it a name. This will automatically place it in the canvas and we can drag it around, resize it and use other tools available when working with assets in Doodly. Starting in the upper left and dragging the asset using the handles on the bounding box, we can see that it does not cover the entire canvas. We can use the other handle to drag the image and make it oversized to cover the canvas. Notice the orange line indicating the image is not covering the edge of the canvas and the image is still inside the canvas, telling us that we need to increase the size of the asset if we want to cover the entire canvas. There. Let's save these changes and position the asset to a better location. Depending on the resolution and zoom your computer has, you may not be able to click on the tools above the asset. So if you want to remove the asset, you can always tap the delete key on your keyboard. You will receive a message 
you're about to remove the selected assets from the scene. You can add them back later by browsing the asset library. Are you sure you want to continue? There's a cancel and OK button. Click OK and we will remove the asset from the canvas. Right clicking on an imported asset will show you multiple options. Rename, delete, share, and export. Using delete now reveals a different message. Are you sure you want to delete this asset? This action is not reversible. The asset will no longer be available outside the scenes that already use it. This, again, has a cancel or OK button. Clicking OK will remove the asset from the library. Moving on to fonts. Doodly comes with three fonts in this version. Patrick Hand Regular, Handly Regular, and Gochi Hand Regular. Any fonts you see in this video, I went out on the internet, researched the fonts, and decided I wanted to use those fonts for my own doodles. Make sure you read the licensing and terms of use on each font before you use it because a lot of them are not licensed for commercial use and you need to pay a fee to use them for commercial use. Fonts have been updated in the later version of Doodly to include 35 different fonts for the standard licensing and 70 different fonts for the enterprise licensing. Keeping in mind, all the fonts included in Doodly, regardless of licensing, are sourced from free for commercial use locations around the internet. Double clicking the text on the canvas will allow us to change the text. Fonts.google.com happens to be a website where you can obtain free commercial use font types. That's a little big. Let's resize with the handles on the bounding box. There, that's better. We can easily change font types in Doodly by dragging another font on top of the text on the canvas. Doodly will ask us, are you going to replace the font? And we have the options to say yes, replace, or no, add. Clicking yes, replace will change the font type for that text. There are some options that are available when clicking on the text assets on the canvas. Clicking on the gear icon above the text, we can see there are tons of options. The only two options I use in these settings are color and opacity. I advise not using the sound effects in this panel as there is no ability to control the audio level and you're limited to the duration of the asset when you attach the sound effect to an asset. Instead, use an additional audio timeline for the sound effects and line them up manually. It's a little bit more work, but well worth the ability to control the audio level and let it have its own duration. The other options in these controls are moving the text asset up and down in the layers section and to delete or remove the text from the canvas. Some fonts require attribution when using them. It's a good idea to set your naming conventions to remind you when an asset needs attribution, whether it's a font, audio, or an image. Naming conventions include attribution can be something like font name, dash, ATT, or attribution information, something to the effect that'll make it easy for you to remember. Changing the font types is as easy as dragging the font on top of the text and clicking OK. It is important to note that when adding new fonts, the only time you can rename the font is either before you import it by renaming the file itself or during import. So make sure you take advantage of that if you want to have an organized and nice looking font list. Equally important is the knowledge that some TTF files have more than one style font in them and if they do, you will not have an opportunity to rename those fonts. If you right click on the font after it's been imported, the only thing to be seen is the delete option with no ability to share or rename. Time to check out the imported sound effects and music. There are several places to obtain free sound effects. Doodly will provide quite a few free sound effects as well and has a very reasonably priced mega sound bundle. Our Doodly Frequently Asked Questions video also included at the end of the complete version of this video provides a lot of places to obtain free sound effects. One such place is freesoundeffects.com which they have their free sound effects listed in the lower left corner. Unlike fonts, we can rename and delete sound effects. 
However, we do not have the ability to share sound effects and music. You can find a lot of audio files on the internet, but you will find some of them that require attribution. To keep out of a legal bind, it is best to remind yourself that a piece of audio or sound effect requires attribution in the description of your video production by using a naming convention of sound name ATTR dot attribution information. Oh, forgot to mention, we can use multiple lines when working with fonts. As soon as you use multiple lines, you will see options for alignment such as left, center, or right alignment. Text is vectorized and scalable, so it does not matter how small or big it gets because you won't lose quality. The Marketplace section is where you can see all the bundles you've purchased from the Marketplace, including both images and audio. These bundles work just like regular Doodly provided images. Drag them onto the canvas and work with them like normal. They have the same options such as move forward or send backward options for positioning the asset within the layers section. It is important to note that when this video was created, the coloring of the font was handled differently than the newest version that has come out since the video was recorded. So what I'm going to show you here is not accurate any further. I will display the correct method of coloring the font and an undocumented bug that happens within Doodly that's easy to repeat doesn't look like it'll be fixed anytime soon. I've reported the bug to support and asked if they wanted video proof of the bug and it was pretty much blown off and ignored. For right now, this area that I'm showing you will look a little different in the latest versions of Doodly. Check out the updated section at the end of the Doodly walkthrough portion of this video. Audio files on the marketplace will show you if you purchase the sound effects mega bundle. Differently from images, the marketplace, you do not drag the audio onto the canvas, otherwise you'll receive an error of, you cannot drop audio files onto scenes. Please drop them to the audio timeline below. You can either click the OK button or click the gray X in the upper right hand corner of the error. Both will do the same thing, and that is close the error. Drag the audio down to the audio timeline near the bottom of Doodly, and you will see a basic audio timeline appear letting you know that it has successfully been added to the timeline. Intimately working with audio is outside the scope of this video, but we have a separate video dedicated toward working with audio within Doodly. Watch that video to learn all about working with audio within Doodly. Let's review the Categories tab. The slide out menu has different options depending on the area that's selected at the top. The categories allow for a user friendly method of filtering out assets to use in your Doodle. It is a bit limited because the categories are chosen by the Doodly developers. We will quickly overview the items in the scenes which has two options. All and My Library. Characters has a few options to choose from. All, My Library, Business, Casual, and Trendy. Props has quite a bit of choices. We won't waste your time going through all of these choices, but we will mention the list goes below what you can see here. There's a hidden scroll bar that allows you to go below what you see on the screen. Notice Fonts doesn't have a category, while Audio does offer filtering such as Sound Effects, Music, My Library, and All. It is important to note the Images category in the Marketplace also scrolls past what you can see displayed on the screen. Hey, that's it for this video, but not for the rest of the information on this channel. Here are some more videos to help you keep learning. Click that subscribe button and tap that notification bell for more doodly tips and tricks. Let's make a deal. You keep watching the videos and I'll keep creating the content.